Hey you. Today's lesson is about these verbs. Get, make, have, let, help. Um, some other ones. The list is quite long and I can't remember all of them. When someone does something like order pizza. Why did he order pizza? Because of you. You are the cause of this. And when you cause something, maybe because you asked, maybe by persuasion, or maybe you force the person, you know, like with that power in Star Wars with the lightning that comes out the fingers? No, no, I can't do Star Wars. Nope. Disney, if you're watching, please don't sue me for copyright. But anyway, when you cause something, we use a causative verb to describe it. Genius. Okay, first, you cause something by strength. You don't give that person an option. They don't have a choice. They have to do it. A strong verb to use is force. You know, like in Star Wars, when they do that, you will do this thing. You don't have a choice. It's like that. You should give me your hair. What? I think you should shave off your hair and give it to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> give me it! Ali, no! No, no, Ali! No! Ali. Give me it! No, Ali! No! No! In that situation, I forced him to shave his hair. I can also use the verbs have, get, and make. I forced him to shave his hair. I got him to shave his hair. I made him shave his hair. I had him shave his hair. They all, in this context, mean the same thing. But just remember, some causative verbs have two and some don't. And, and, Remember that the causative verb will change with the time, with the tense. If you need an ing, the causative verb changes. This one doesn't. But anyway, back to pizza. I'm pretty hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, I can eat. I can eat pizza. I think one of us should order a pizza. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, do you want me to? Uh, yeah, yeah, you should order it. Yeah, thanks. Order. Thanks, man. Yeah. Can you just put everything on it? Everything? Okay. Hello? Yeah. What happened? I can say this. Can we have pizza I with... made him order pizza. Everything? Or I got him yeah, to order pizza. Yeah. And uh, maybe some garlic bread as well. I can also say I had him order pizza. But this situation, that didn't feel like a force. That didn't feel pressured. There was no obligation there. But definitely, definitely, I was in control of the decision, right? So that is basically the meaning of these three causative verbs. I am in control of the decision or of what happens. But in that last situation where I said I got Tom to shave his head, Yes, I was in control of that situation, so those three verbs are good, but there was also no choice. I pressured him. I forced him. That's why we use the verb force for that extra strength. Another example, um, if you change someone's mind, like, hey, do you want to go to the pub? No, I'll buy the drinks. Okay. In this case, I want to say I changed his mind. I persuaded him, influenced him, convinced him to do something. So I can use that causative verb persuade. I persuaded him to go. And again, we can use other causative verbs. Things to notice. Number one, remember that some verbs have to verb, some verbs don't. Second thing, this verb takes the time, it takes the, the change in tense. Third thing, um, when you say I got someone to do something, the feeling is that you persuaded them. So there's more of that feeling. 
it, um, it's more that you pushed them to do something, you persuaded them in some way. And maybe you notice the verb have is missing here. The verb have needs its own video, so I will cover all of the things about have in another video. But for now, here's another example with these verbs. You should wear this. Uh, no, you're right. No, I think you look really handsome in it. No, no, yeah, no, I'm okay. You will wear it. Okay, I'll wear it. I got him to wear it. I persuaded him to wear it. Now, when you want to assist someone, to help them do something. For example, maybe I offer support to my friend in a difficult time. Oh man, I can't do YouTube anymore. It's so stressful. Oh, I've had enough. Don't say that, don't even think it. You're amazing, you can do this bro. I believe in you. Never give up. Use the verb encourage. Thanks man. Thanks for encouraging me to continue. Notice again, the verb takes all the tense. Thanks for, now we need an ing verb. So, thanks for encouraging me, and we need the to, to continue. And then maybe my friend is having a problem. Oh man, I can't do these thumbnails, they're so hard. I know. Dude, don't worry though, I'm gonna help you do your thumbnails. Yeah? Or I could have said, I'll help you to do your thumbnails. The two, it's not necessary. It's an option. Dude, who are you speaking to? No one. Shh. And finally, to ask. Whether you're requesting something or maybe asking permission to do something. For example, he is asking permission. Sorry, Ali, can I, can I use your bathroom, please? Sorry, Ali, can I use your bathroom, please, mate? Ali. What? Oh, sorry, did, did you just ask to use the bathroom yeah. again? Yeah, please, mate. So, with the verb ask, to verb. And if you give permission to someone, you let them do something. With the verb let, there is no to. Yeah, I'll let you use the bathroom, it's fine. Cheers, man, thanks. You got the shits. <laughs> what? No. No. I let him use the bathroom because he has diarrhea. So let's practice all of this in the comments or in your notebook where you take notes, wherever, it doesn't matter. Just practice, practice, practice it with these questions. Number one, did your parents used to let you eat sugary foods and drinks? For me, no. When I was young, um, my favorite drink was this. It was called a slush puppy. It's basically just ice and red. I don't know, red sugar, whatever. It's probably not healthy, but my mum never let me drink it. Number two, if you are feeling sleepy, lazy, you don't want to do anything, but your friends call you and they're like, hey, come out to the pub. How could they get you to join them? For me, my friends, they can get me to come out if we're going somewhere fun. If there's good food, good people, good drinks, then I'll come out. But if you ask me to go to Leicester Square or Piccadilly to go out, you're never gonna get me to go there, never. Number three, when was the last time you encouraged someone to do something? Or when was the last time someone encouraged you to do something? Number four, what does your boss usually have you do every day? For example, does your boss have you make coffee? Does your boss have you um, do the boring stuff in the office? And finally, number five, are you the older or younger brother or sister? Does your brother or sister make you get things for them? For example, for me, uh, I'm the younger brother. So when we were kids, 
my older sister always made me get her stuff like um glasses of juice food everything thanks for watching the worksheet for this lesson is included in my ebook this is full of worksheets for my favorite videos this will help you learn the vocabulary better help you practice it in more interesting ways this is for my patreons and my youtube channel members and it updates every month the link to get it is in the description